Hi everyone, I'm Alan from Yellow Tuxedo and today's video is all about, well, it's all about making a video. Uh, video content is so important and all of you need to start making video content for your businesses and showcasing what you do because not only is it engaging for the potential clients but it also helps massively with your online presence and your digital visibility for people to be able to find you. We've talked about that loads in other videos so today's is just about how to do it. Now, we've got five parts to today's video and they are as follows. Number one, we've got mount your phone. Number two, sound is important. Number three, light and bright. Number four, set consistency. And number five, keep it simple always. So number one is mount your phone. Now, yes, you can get a tripod and you can get all singing, all dancing stuff, or you, looking at number five, you can keep it as simple as possible. Uh, we've got a couple of things here. So this is uh, a tripod selfie stick. So if you're out and about, because you're not always going to want to film in, uh, you know, a setup like this. So if you're out and about, you can use this tripod uh, selfie stick at the same time. And on top is just a little bit where you put your phone in. Now these are genuinely inexpensive. I think this bit at the top was about seven pound. And this selfie stick, it does have a little Bluetooth button in it as well. That's about 15 pound, I think. Um, I'll put some links to some similar stuff in the description below. But that's a really good way. I mean, obviously we've got our phone on our tripod. And I'm gonna show you that in just one second because if you weren't gonna use a phone and you wanted to film, you could just film on your webcam. And that is another really inexpensive, if you've got a laptop or computer with a webcam built in, then absolutely just use that. Once again, it's a good way of keeping it stable. It's part of the computer and then you're just putting that wherever you want to film that day. Um, showing you our setup here and proving it is on a phone. Here we have our phone. Here we have our tripod. This tripod, I think, was about 18, 20 pound from Amazon. It's an Amazon Basics one. And on top, we've got a Rode mic. Actually, that's really important. On these phone holders, a lot of them, you have what's called a hot shoe mount on top. And uh, that's good to put the mic or a light, depending on where you're filming and how you want that to be. But look, it sounds complicated. It's not, trust me, that's nice and simple. Okay. Next up, we've got sound is important. And yep, I've already shown you our little boom mic that sits on top of the phone holder. Uh, but I'm also using this little lapel mic here. And that can connect straight into your phone as well to record your audio. And audio is so important. Because if you think about watching an amazing bit of footage and you know the audio is not right or it's crackly or it's echoey, and it really does affect your enjoying, uh, you know, your viewing experience. Couple of hints and tips. If you're in a place that's echoey, a lot of houses, uh, rooms in houses are echoey, fill it with stuff. Shut the curtains, that's why we have these curtains shut. Put a, put a whiteboard up if you have one, that's another reason it's there. Not only just a kind of a little visual prompt on yellow tuxedo, but it's actually part of helping it be less echoey in here. And one last thing, and I, I saw this on someone else's the other day and was gobsmacked at how good it was. Chuck some blankets and cushions on the floor because sound waves are bouncing around and that will help soak them up and make it less echoey where you are filming. But yeah, get a quality mic and get some bits just to help with the echo. And that's regardless of whether you're inside or outside, you know, on location or where you're at. Third up is light and bright. Now we've got no filming lights in here. You may have seen the big normal lamp as I rotated the webcam just to see that. But ultimately there's one big thing we've got, that's a window. So set up your camera by the window. So you've got window on the side of your face, window on the front of your face, making you as light and bright as possible. And if you happen to have a light there as well, then fantastic. It's just a little bit extra light as well. But you want that light on your face, not on the top of your head. So which is why a window is really, really good. Fourth up is set and consistency. Uh, look, this is really, once again, you know, number five about keeping it simple. This is where keep it simple comes in as well. Everything has got to be as simple as possible to get you creating content. And set part of it. Don't be worried about where you live. It, you know, if that you're going to film in your house and you're going to do pieces to camera like this, it's really not a problem. This is our office. There's some books. What else have I got? Some medals, if you can see them. And down here 
is piles of rubbish that Emily wouldn't let me show for relatively obvious reasons. So this is more of a, we say office, this really is our dumping ground. Now you can do this in your kitchen, in your lounge, anywhere where there's a window that you wanna you want to film, you can do it there. And um, yeah, try and keep it a little bit unfussy behind you, but it really doesn't matter because you and what you're talking about is what actually is important. And finally, we've got keep it simple. It is the biggest thing, and I think something we are all guilty of. We go, but what about, but what about, but what about? And before we've even got going, we've overthought it and talked ourselves out of it. So keep it simple. Find somewhere in your house, if you're gonna do bits of the camera like this and you wanna sit down and film it, make sure it's by a window and start filming it. It is that simple. And if you're not sure what to film about, we talk about this all the time, answer the questions your clients are asking or the big question your business answers for your potential clients. Think about what people are asking in forums and groups and talk about that and then get your phone, connect it to something so it's stable and start filming. You know, what's our total setup? We've got sort of 15 pound for this tripod, seven pound for that. These microphones are about, you know, 30 pounds, something like that, 40 but I think that's a little bit more than that one. But they're not essential. You could just put your phone in and start talking to it. It is much better to do something than nothing. So grab your phone, start filming, and whack it out on YouTube. And then people can start finding you. And that's what we want. Thank you so much for watching today. We hope this is the simple, easy steps. Are, uh, you know, you're finding them simple because they really are. But if you find it too complicated, then there's only one thing. Pick your phone up and start filming and what you're talking about, what your business does, so people can start finding you. That's it. Thank you so much for watching today. We'd love to hear about your business in the comments below, what you think about our hints and tips, or did we miss anything obvious out? Uh, you know, for the person who just wants to get going, please do give us a little thumbs up it means so much to me late in the evenings when I'm sitting there looking at our content and share this out if you think you've got other business friends and other people who own their own businesses who could benefit from this then please do share it out with them so they can all benefit from our five easy hints and tips have a fab day and thank you very much